What's shaking, Internet? This is Salt bringing you another League of Legends commentary. All right, getting right into it. Uh, on this game, I am playing as Soraka, the support champion. I will be playing her as a support. And as soon as I can pull this up on my screen, game's loading real quick. Um, let's see. While it's loading, uh, I, so I got my first two games out there, and I started putting it out there, and uh, hoping that uh, everybody gets into it real quick. But um, I gotta say, uh, thanks for everybody comments and any of the uh, the feedback I've gotten. So um, with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start being a little more technical. I'm still mo mostly a color commentary, I would think. And don't call me racist, jerks. But uh, yeah, I'm mostly uh, just you know kind of having fun here. Um, this game, I am playing as Soraka, and I am still relatively low level. I think I might be level 10 during this game, maybe a little bit lower. I don't know. I still don't have any runes. I still don't have any friends. So solo queue, uh, no runes, and she was a free champion that week. Uh, in fact, I have, just to lay down some rules as far as I have on this account, I have no, I have bought no champions and no runes whatsoever. So everything's got to be free. Um, I am doing one extremely stupid thing here, and uh, I'll explain why. Um, I'm playing as Soraka, and this is the, actually the first time I've ever played as Soraka. And this is a normal game with, you know, me, my team versus their team. So, uh, yeah, kind of dumb, I gotta say. What you want to do is you want to practice these champions. Go to practice games, that's what it's there for. Um, but I'm being an idiot, and I'm showing you exactly not how not to do it. So I'm playing as Soraka the first time. I don't tell them that, of course, because I don't want to be, I don't want to be a total jerk. But uh, even though I am, I guess. So either way, uh, I start with, uh, um, let's see. As far as items go, I start with a Mechi pendant and two health potions. I think the reason for that is I'm going to go for Tear of the Goddess. Um, I'm going to talk about this real quick before I get into the match. Um, I haven't really covered the the buying, but basically in uh, League of Legends you buy items, and it's kind of nice because like. You buy some items, and you know it gives you health, and regen, you know, just different things. They give you different stats, but some of them actually, like, if I bought this, this 24 magic resist null magic mantle, it actually can build into a lot of things. So I can click it, and it builds into all of these things. So if I buy this, then this gets cheaper because I bought this. So I pay 400 for this, and 350 for this, and however much for this, and it costs 1,200 total. So yeah, ooh, I'm missing some action. I apologize. So either way, we're uh, we're in this already. Nice, we got first blood there. I have got to say, wow. Uh, go go team, kind of. So uh, yeah, as you saw there, they kind of we we focused them a lot better than they did, but I guess Cassidan still died. Too bad. I remember I play I laned with Cassidan here. Uh, Cassidan's a caster, and I'm a support. Uh, he is he was very aggressive in this game and uh, <laughs> maybe a little too aggressive so either way um Soraka has four abilities she has star call which is an AOE it drops down stars on all of the um, all of the enemy champs and minions around you and I think it lowers their magic resist for a little while yeah um, I also have healing which is what I start with the astral blessing it heals people then infuse which increases which recovers people's mana. So, I mean, Soraka's obviously one of the best supports in the game because she can raise your mana, she can raise your heal, or raise your health, just everything. So nice. Um, and her ultimate is Wish. She actually uh, in heals all allies on the map. It's a global ult for all of your allies. But you got to keep track of your, uh, your allies' health up here. So when you do that. I think we're just trying to zone him out real quick. A little bit of lag there. All right. So um, we're going up against, uh, let's see, Rise and... Vigar, Vigar. I don't know how to say his name, but they're both casters. Um, kind of sucks because Vigar is uh, has a is a champ that is really good against casters, and both of us are going to be high AP. So that sucks. Um, Timo versus Timo in the mid here, uh, and Cho'Gath and Rise down here versus Cassidan and somebody else. Um, so okay. So like I said, I've started with the Mechie Pendant and two health potions. That was nice. And Oh, what are you doing, dude? Run! See, like I said, he's an extremely aggressive Cassidy. And really, you know, this is a low-level game. But, you know, one thing that you're going to do by the higher tiers is what you want to do is last hit. I've, I've explained this to you already. Um, 
you want to last hit minions because that gets money. But also, you only want to last hit. You don't want to hit things unless you're last hitting. Because if you're hitting things um, and not last hitting, you're just doing damage and you're going to be pushing your lane. Which means that you'll be moving further away from your tower. And, um, you know, your tower is very nice and safe. You want to be by your tower as much as possible. Oh, nice. So, uh, now we're going up against Mordekaiser. I guess Rise went bottom? Mordekaiser switched with us. <laughs> so, um, Mordekaiser is a tank. He's a very tanky champion. He bu he builds up a shield. As you can see, he has no mana or, you know, anything. He just has a health bar. And with his abilities, build up that little shield. And that shield goes down. Uh, no, like it, it basically shields him from any damage. Just to cover it real quick. Um, so, as far as builds go, I go... I try to max Astro Blessing, and then I go straight for Infuse. Uh, I go in for Infuse. I point any points that I can't put into Astro Blessing, I put into Infuse. I want to get max Astro Blessing first, and there, Rise took out Teemo. So that sucks. So I've got my mana up. What are you doing? Do your, use your mana. Boom. There you go. So uh, I obviously. I, I'm not a I'm not a pro Soraka, obviously, but uh, yeah. So I don't even go for Star Call. Uh, that might be bad for me, but I'm going full support. I want to go straight healing and straight infuse. Uh, then I'll just do Star Call at the end, you know, whatever. Nice top MIA. So, um, Cassidy's going to try and gank this Teemo. I don't. Why is that Teemo only level 1? I guess he's only level 2? Oh, man. I guess I'm like one of the highest level champs on our team. An ally has been slain. So, um... <laughs> There's... We don't have... They're all level 1? What's... I'm, I'm very confused. I don't understand. Is there some kind of weird non-updating bug here? It's like, how can it be only level 1? Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. So, um... If that's true, we are really being out-leveled. I don't, I don't even know how. But, uh, obviously I'm just trying to trying to save my tower here. It's kind of nice because I can tower hug and they can't really kill me. Not that, you know, Sorak is the easiest thing to kill anyway at low levels because of her heals and everything. But, um, yeah. So I've got Astral Blessing level 3 and Infuse level 2 right now. And I'm like, I really want to get that, that rise, but he's going to get away and oh no, oh no. And, uh, Mordekaiser ulted on me and I just, uh, failed there. There you go. Oh, there you go. No. I think he can kill Mordekaiser because he's kind of low and he doesn't have a shield, but that sucked for me. Um, let's go down here. Yes, our, our rise is only level 1. It's, how is that possible? Low replay just has to not be updating. I, I, there's no reason. There's no possible way that this is correct. Yeah, I blame low replay. Oh, see, boom. Everybody just jumped up to level 4 and 5. There you go. So, as far as levels go, um... Their Teemo... Uh, ugh. Low replay is not working very well for me, is it? Showing that he's level 1. But... So, yeah, we ping. We ping because uh, we're trying to call the MIAs. I'm just running back to lane. There are a lot of mis myth MIAs here, so uh, I'm expecting some ganks, some serious gankage. I'm looking for it. I'm waiting for it. I don't know. I don't see it. Either way, when I died, I picked up the Tear of Goddess. Uh, it's a really nice item. Uh, every time you use an ability, you actually gain maximum mana. So, for the for anybody who uses abilities a lot, like Soraka, I'll use my heal every time, and I'll use my infuse every time it's up. So, um, I mean, as, as long as you keep using those abilities, you always want to be on it. 
So here you go. I need to go up there and heal him. Heal. Infuse. There you go. So, uh, they're back. Kassadin's, Kassadin's nice. He's got teleport, so he's, uh, he's staying up on it. Um... They switched. Apparently we're going to Mordekaiser and Rise now. I don't know what they were doing. They were all over the place. Because we were going against Vigar, but he's gone now. Hmm. Which, I don't know why, because this is a great lane for Vigar. Like, you want to be up against AP people. So that you can do super damage to them. So, nice little heal there. Boom, boom, went away. Yeah, Kassadin calls for a B. He's saying he doesn't have any MP. I can infuse him a little bit, but can't do too much. My infuse does not do too much there. Now you want to use that infuse probably to silence. Um, infuse you can cast on an ally to give them mana, or you can cast on an enemy to silence them for a little while. So I mean, you can use it pretty offensively as well. So now I got now I got my wish. Uh, I probably don't use wish super effectively in this game. Like I said, I'm a Soraka noob kind of sad. Um, you know, I wish I was better at, like, oh, Rise, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you need to go back. There you go. So these guys are being pushed pretty hard. Um, Teemo, their mid Teemo's pushing our Teemo pretty, pretty rough. So, uh, let's see. So I'm just going to tower hug here and hopefully fend them off for a little bit. It's like, yeah, I can heal up, so I'm not I'm not terribly worried, especially within tower range like this. Hmm. So <laughs> I'm saying I'm support. I never engage. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm support. I'm as a support character. You want to be back, and you do not want to be in the front lines at all. Which is like, what am I doing? Run back, heal up. There you go. It's like I, I play too many tanks, so now I want to stay in front of them at all times. And it's like, ooh, Mordekaiser. We're extending there a little bit, buddy. I wish we could gank. Like right now, if you know, Teemo was, if our Teemo was decent, he would be up in up here and he'd be ganking like nobody's business both these people would be dead but I don't see don't even know where our Teemo is huh. there you go oh man look at him go gonna heal up mana up just chill so now their Teemo's missing so we gotta be careful um I still haven't gotten back, so I have, uh, I'm still sitting on my tier of the goddess here. Uh, I bring the summoner spells Ghost and Exhaust. I'm not 100% sure what's really the best for Soraka. Um, Clairvoyance probably would be a good idea. Clairvoyance is good for any support character, really. Uh, but I'm, I actually don't even think I can go down the mastery tree to actually get it on it. Oh, man. They all ganked down here. Oh, that's so sad. So that was a double kill. So we're trying to do as much damage to this tower as possible. I'm like, sure, why not? I silenced him. Boom. Now let's do as much damage to him as possible. So I exhausted him. I got my wish. I'm like, wish, wish, wish. Oh, I didn't even use it. 